Hey guys, it's Master J here from Martial Art World. Um, we're going to be taking you through another drills and skills video today. Um, interestingly, we're going to add a bit of variety and for any of those of you that have nunchucks at home, you've got a garden, a big space to play around with, um, we're going to be working through a nunchuck drill today, one of my favourites. It's going to be a basic one, so if you're new to nunchucks, it will be absolutely fine for you guys. Um, and equally, if you're a skilled technician with nunchucks, it'll be a, a nice little bit of revision for you. So let's make a start. <clears throat> So with nunchucks, one thing I want to point out is that a lot of people will hold the nunchuck at the bottom but it doesn't give you the maximum amount of control that you need, alright? It's good for range but in terms of actually manipulation of the chuck, it's not too good. So again, I suggest either the middle part to hold with or even better in my opinion is actually holding a little bit more towards the top. So when you start to do wrist rolls and uh, kind of catches like this, you're going to be able to hold it at a much better angle. So again, my preference is to hold it definitely more at the top of the nunchuck. So again, one of the most basic ones um, that I like to do is working a cross body and then over shoulder. So the way this is going to work is if you start by holding this in your right hand, I'm going to take this across around my midsection and I'm just going to lift my other hand slightly. So it's going to be like a side strike. This is if you were to strike with the nunchuck and then again with your body you're going to keep nice and static. So from here I'm going to take that underneath my arm and across to here. Make sure as it goes towards your back, don't let it slam into your back too much otherwise it's going to hurt you. So try and control and slow that movement just as you come across towards the end part. So again one more time I'm going to take it across and underneath my other arm. From here, I'm now going to bring this back, but I keep the nunchuck pointing with the end up towards the sky or towards the ceiling. So that way I get a rebound across to the other hip. So again, from the top, I'm taking it across underneath and then to the other hip. In full speed, it should look like this, one, two. So you can see it comes across and then recoils back to the other side. So you're looking at two mid strikes, one and two. Again, this one is the real strike and this is more of a recoil to get back to the next position that we're gonna go into in a second. So again, just to start, remember, hold it up nice and high. From here, we strike with the right hand across underneath the arm. And again, I take that just towards my hip level. Again, once I get towards my hip level, I recall that back to the other hip. You can see the chuck has the end here pointing up to the sky as I recoil back. All right, so it must go one, point it up to the sky, recoil. Again, last time full speed, we go strike recoil. Again, strike recoil. You can start to speed this up as you get a little bit more confident with it as we strike recoil. And again, you can do that as many times as you like. So you might wanna just get into that rhythm of going here and you can see that the chuck is pretty much facing towards the ceiling at all times. So that way we can work on that recoil from left to right. It's just that first strike that comes across the body and then the recoil goes from here. What I'm going to teach you now is how we get it over the shoulder. And again, this is more of an upward strike is if you were going to strike someone towards the chin. Again, we strike upwards. So we do this from that second recoil. We work on the first move one, second move two. From here, what I want to try and do is keep this from the shoulder to the elbow pretty much horizontal. So then I can flip the chuck over the shoulder and over the arm. What I don't want to do is dip this down too much. I want to keep a nice clean line. So again, it's in line with my shoulder and that's what's going over the top. So from that second recoil one, I now take this over the shoulder. And again, that's your upward strike. So from here, we're striking upwards here, okay? So again, from the top, we're gonna to work with me across the body, one. Recoil, two, and then strike upwards over the shoulder, three. So that's your three movements. Again, this is the sequence that we're looking at for today. So let's try it again with me. From here, we take the chuck in the right hand and we're gonna go across the body, one. Now we recoil back, two, and then we go over the shoulder, three. So three movements. You can see as well, I'm in a pretty good sitting stance. Again, this is just a nice neutral position, but you can do it from like a walking stance or an L stance position. But my recommendation is keep nice and neutral, nice and basic, going in a sitting stance. So once you've done those three moves, one, two, and three, you can then practice that sequence again and coming across the body, but now your starting position is obviously up from the upward strike. And again, it's coming from the top of the shoulder. So again, from here, you can see we side strike one, recoil two, and then we go upward strike three. Repeat that movement one more time with me. One, two, and three, perfect. All right, so now what you need to do is get a little bit more confident with it. Again, you can do this as fast or as slow as you like, but try and do it 
three times. So that way we can go one, two, and three. Perfect. And then as you get a little bit more confident, one, two, three. And to finish, come across the body. And as you come across, catch the nunchuck in the other hand. And this will be a great finish position for you. So again, from here, we go on the third one, up, side strike across at 45. And again, you'll see I'm catching there. I've gone one, two, three, and then I catch at 45. From there, once I've caught the movement, I can bring it to front and then finish my drill. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, enjoyed that uh, drills and skills for today. Have a practice if you have nunchucks at home. If you haven't, then it's something you can look forward to uh, once we get back to the academy. All right, guys, I'll see you very soon.